What's up guys, Blade Master here, back again with the second part of my LP. So um, just a recap, I'm playing as Ashur Banipal and the first um, LP was just about 10 minutes and I'm, I'm planning to keep this uh, the rest of my uh, series just about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you know, keep them short, force myself to be succinct and to the point and you know, it, I don't know if people really like watching, you know, 30 or 40 minute uh, long videos. I really don't, so I'm just gonna try and keep these short. Um, it makes it a bit different from the usual LPs, I guess. So, very quick intro. Um, I've been scouting with my. Uh, it's it's been how many? Twenty turns since I've started. So, um, meanwhile, I've been just scouting. I found out, you know, that I've started on a on a desert. I've got a bunch of cotton on my left and uh, some marble up north. Um, it's glass too, or silver, sorry. So I think that uh, I'm gonna try and rush um, Desert Rituals or damn it I just read the name of that Pantheon earlier like uh, five hours ago. Ah oh, damn it. I forgot the name. Uh, Desert Sacrifice? Desert Ritual? It's either Desert Sacrifice, Desert Ritual um, or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to rush the shrine because I got an 8 bonus from um, uh, meeting Kathmandu. And uh, they gave me, uh, yes, they gave me 8 faith and I'm gonna try and uh, rush desert, religion, desert, <laughs> the desert pantheon. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, meanwhile, I, I found one of these ruins which gave me uh, the location of some more barbs. And since I've got the honor trait uh, or honor social policy, that's gonna be pretty useful for me so that I can get some gold. And then, you know, try and rush 500 uh, gold so that I can uh, get a free settler. Because I I have brought um, I've, or I have taken honor uh, while sacrificing uh, liberty, so I don't uh, have access to like getting um, a free settler from the social policies at, at this moment. Ooh, I'm just discovering ruins out the asshole, man. <laughs> How many ruins have I found? That's crazy. Anyways, we finished calendar, which gives me uh, which allows me to work these sugar um, sugar tiles. Now I have settled Asur on a sugar um, tiles. So these the only uh, use for these would be for trading. Now, what should I get? Uh, caravan, caravan could be pretty useful. I should try and get riding. Clear marsh, remove a jungle, reveals iron. Since I'm gonna go for, uh, actually I don't know if I should. I really should try and rush um, uh, mathematics so that I can get my siege tower. But on the other hand, I haven't met a single dude. So what's the point of you know building those siege towers when I'm not going to fight, like fight anyone? So I have constructed a shrine. So and hopefully that will um, let me uh, you know get my desert sacrifice pantheon uh, as soon as possible. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and get a worker. Yeah, let me get a worker. Or should I get an archer? Mm, nah, at this point, worker is going to be much, much more useful. Meanwhile, I'll, ooh, Vatican City. Oh, this is so sick. I, I have such a good um, start. They've gifted me eight faith and thirty gold, so this is perfect. And I've got twenty culture. That's awesome. Um, okay, so now I have forty-six out of thirty. So this is a, a you know, just a small pro tip for people. Um, who want to uh, you know advance the social policy you don't have to wait for the next turn when it gives you the option of adopting a new policy you can just go ahead and click this and you know you have a one turn advantage it'll be pretty useful for players who are playing on deity and stuff like that but for those players they probably know that <laughs> they know how to use it already um so plus 15 production when training melee units at a great general appears outside the outside the camp that could be really useful because um i want to try and conquer very early like starting in the classical era but I haven't met anyone, so I don't know if I should do that. Whereas this one gets plus 15% combat units for melee, uh, which have so this could really stack up well with my siege towers, which give me gives me um which gives me a bonus when attacking other cities. So I think I'll take this. Alright. I don't know if that was the greatest move, but either ways, it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna harm me. Meanwhile, I'm sure Vatican City wants me to clear out some of these barbs. No? Nobody? Okay, cool. No quest. So there is a, an encampment over here which I should clear out as soon as possible. I've sent my guys um, over here for no reason. I actually thought that, you know, I didn't know that there'd be a coast over here. Let me just uh, not explore the rest of that place. I doubt there's going to be... Oh, shit. Okay. 
had a feeling that you know there wouldn't be just ghost. Okay, so Vatican City is in like a really yes, yes, found a pantheon. Yes, um, desert folk. How did I not get desert folklore? Okay, I just I listed out all the different words except folklore. Okay, um, actually, should I before just blindly jumping in? Okay, I've got a bunch of desert tiles. Cool. Tundra tiles, no point. Um, I do have sugar. Is there anything for sugar? Palace, uh, no. Wine, incense. Okay, wine and incense. There's a lot of incense, but there is. Co I do have more cotton than anything. Copper, iron, and this is not salt, is it? Yeah, this is sugar. Let's go from Norway. Haven, Nope, not. Yep, I'm just gonna take. Desert folklore. Become a religious powerhouse. Yep. This plus six faith already. GG. Peace out, AI. I'm gonna convert all these infidels. World's most progressive people, <laughs> and I am all the way down at the bottom. But that's not gonna be f uh, for very long. Um, as long as I can find, uh, uh, as long as I can find someone to attack, and yet another city state that I'm the first to discover. So it looks like I'm really isolated from the rest of the rest of the AI. Oh wow, that was really close. So another guy um, just researched uh, um, or just found another pantheon. Nice, yet another ruin. This might just be the best start recorded in YouTube YouTube history. Um, moving around with these guys, cool. Found another uh, or found that barb encampment. Okay, next turn. I think I'm probably reaching around an eight eight minute mark at this point. I have no idea. Let's see how how good my my body clock or my mind clock is. Yet another uh, ruin which gives me access to another map. So that that wasn't great, but it's whatever. Go ahead and attack these guys with my spears. Spears. Right, next turn. Yet another pantheon found it. I can't believe I was the first to found a pantheon with Assyria. Wow, that's crazy. Um, let's put shock on these guys, get another minor victory, clear out this barb encampment as soon as possible, and then boom and boom. Okay, so there's some, some, um, some, uh, some jungles. Jungles down south. I still think that I'm going to expand more in the desert. At least the next th two or three cities that I that I found will be in the in the desert. So I don't really need to, you know, second guess my decision to get desert folklore. Cool. 25 gold. And yet another ruin. Oh yeah, and since honor is so uh, useful that way, it gives you culture for every barbarian that you kill. Which is pretty... Oh! Indonesia. Nice. Indonesia are a terrible faction. And I'm gonna whoop their ass. Alright, I think that's a, that's a good enough note to end this uh, second part of the LP. Of course, if this, uh, if I, you know, check this LP out later, and it, it seems that I, I mean, it, it looks that I haven't uh, reached the 10 minute mark, then of course I will, uh, you know, move on. But um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just, I think I've, I would have finished 10 minutes at this point. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let's actually wait and see what happens to the spear. Okay, minus 15, minus 44. Okay. And um, yeah, on that note, we are going to end this uh, episode 2 of the LP. Hope you enjoyed it and um, like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Peace.